Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> so, just a pre, <clears throat> pre, not a warning, but a pre note that I'm sick. <coughs> <coughs> it's been 10 days, so. <coughs> the reason I don't want to do a video because I think that me coughing would be such an annoying thing. <clears throat> for the people listening, <clears throat> so if you're gonna be pissed off, please be because I'm pissed off too. You can be pissed, pissed off on my behalf about this car. So thank you. <clears throat> and if you're staying and to watch, even though I'm uh, struggling with speaking, <coughs> we're gonna take it slow. <coughs> A lot slower. <clears throat> We're taking it very, very slow. Very slow. I think if we speak like this, then I wouldn't be using my voice so much. So for Capricorns, this is your June <clears throat> Universal Astrology message. <coughs> <coughs> I hope everybody is doing well and super super awesome that I am not doing well but I'm getting better <coughs> some of you are already thinking oh my god Meredith you should just rest I'm so bored of resting do you know how boring it is to rest for 10 days to sleep for 10 consecutive days over and over again <gasps> So tonight is the last night that I'm going to take this very drowsy medicine which really aft me off in so much ways because it's a very drowsy medicine and it stays in my system for more than 24 hours. I thought I was immune to it but I wasn't. So I'm shuffling my deck, programming it to connect to the universal astrology message for the sign of Capricorn um, so for the Capricorns you can also put the intention to the word discard in my behalf if I am not clear minded to program this for the message for you for this month of June <clears throat> Let's shuffle this way now. <coughs> it was 100% worse 10 days ago. This is like 70% better now. <coughs> Soothing my throat energy with my blue aragonite. Blue, blue laser gate, well, not blue aragonite. <laughs> Okay, I think it's done. <coughs> mm. It was dry cough and then it became a wet cough. The dry cough really hurts because the phlegm won't come up. But it's okay. Okay, sliced it. The first card is Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Second card is seven, six, six of. Pentacles upright, and then the Four of Cups reversed. Fuck the devil. <laughs> it's okay. Every time we see a negative um, card, it may be guiding us to resolving a, ne a negative thing. Besides the devil, we have the love verse. 
and then we have the Ten of Swords. <coughs> Six. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So, it's a very big, <coughs> big, big thingy. What do I want to say? A big perspective overhaul. We're going to pull out the Mermaid or the Unicorn. We're going to pull out the Unicorn deck now. I'm going to shuffle what I sense and tune into the, um, the tarot deck and what it's actually trying to say. Um, the first thing that pops up is that your, your relationship with a psychopath maybe. Um, <clears throat> maybe you had, because you have the devil, the lovers, and ten of swords. And it may seem like being betrayed is the best thing that could have ever happened to you, Capricorn. <clears throat> and we also got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So let me tune into that. And we have the Six of Pentacles upright, like generosity, giving, sharing. And you also have this, um, your adamant. So there's the Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse, your adamant. <coughs> your adamant. With, um, with seeing the true picture of someone. I feel that your lover is the devil, maybe. You're adamant in seeing the the there's like this there's this maybe promiscuous person or this is a very um two faced many faces individual who is pretending to be smitten with you to want to um cause you to fall in love with them but you know their true nature and you know that this ten of swords isn't going to go away that you're still suffering from the betrayal that they've they've put upon you that they've entrusted to you so that you you are adamant in seeing them who they truly are rather than who they're pretending to be that they're pretending to love and care for you but you already see their horns you already see their hoofs you already see their evil hearts and you know that you have to protect yourself and knowing that making a decision to know how you feel about a person is something very liberating and very uh, tremendously um, freeing value. It's like freeing at your value from hopes, from false hopes. So I feel that for Capricorns, a message for you is that you are releasing false hopes from people who have betrayed you. And because of that, you have renewed hope, you have renewed faith, you have renewed feelings. You can have new feelings for um, to offer to different people in, in your future or in the present moment to know that um, because you, you are adamant in seeing people's true color, true faces, and true features, and true faces, and true colors, and true uh, features, faces, colors, true selves, true nature. I mean, I said a lot of words, but there was a word that I missed. I think I missed it, but maybe not. So Queen of Pentacles is... Um, <clears throat> So maybe, maybe, I feel like you're learning to be less generous sometimes. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is somebody very money-minded. Somebody who is very money-minded, who earned, who won, who, who showered you with love but cost you a lot of financial setbacks who is like, you know, like a sociopath who 
praise you and want to be around you, want to be your best friend, want to be your lover, want to be your business partner. But all in all, they, what they do is that they, they expect your generosity and you're learning to put, you're learning to draw a line on the sign and you're actually on the sand and you're actually seeing their true faces. That they're the devil or maybe they're the, the, the Jezebel that they don't have a good intention when they are praising you and love bombing you and complimenting you. Mm. <coughs> so even if the individual I spoke of, whoever it may be in your life, may have um, affected your finances, the abundance that you deserve is still present, is, is still there. You hold the key to your abundance, not the people who betrayed you, not the people who scammed you, not the people who love scammed you, not the people who um, try to control all your financial um, matters. You hold the key to your own abundance. And setting your feelings free from um, false hopes allows you to break a break break a new frontier. When I say break a new frontier, I mean build an entirely new bridge to your success. Mm. Sanctuary. So it feels like um Mm, this may relate to this card, this Ten of um, Swords, Sanctuary, where because of your, your heartbroken, betrayed, you've built a sanctuary or you've spent a lot of time to be in your sanctuary and to find self-love and to find this ability to conquer the demons other people left around your energy and you've allowed yourself to find peace and solace in understanding and accepting that the past can't control you and the past cannot influence or impact or affect you when you already recognize and you relinquish the standard of toxic expectation that was placed upon you and you were able to remove the false hopes and recognize the broken broken honesty, the broken truth, the broken pact, the broken promises, and you see for what it is that it is none of your responsibility that you were hurt, that the responsibility belongs to the individual who's masked as a devil or who is pretending to be your lover or to be your trustworthy um, compadre, friend, and you recognize that when you see their true faces, you no longer have this desire to hope for something that will never be met. It's like unrequited love no longer, no longer harbors a negative energy in your world because you recognize the unrequited love is only a facet or is only a segment or fraction of <clears throat> another compendium of lies like encyclopedia of lies that were left by the devil face individual mask as a lover mask as a friend mask as a family member mask as a um someone who um, wants to be very intimate and close to you <coughs> okay, last one, intuition, and maybe maybe because of this card, this four of cups, instead of trusting to take more lies and promises and um, forgiveness from this cloud, from this thought form that keeps on offering you a lot of fantasy, a lot of delusion, a lot of... Mm, a lot of empty false promises and hopes you're recognizing 
to trust your gut instincts and your adamant earlier on I said adamant being adamant like being very aggressively decisive in seeing the true face of the traitor betrayer of the individual who hurt and harm you who still wants to take you as a fool who still wants to think you a fool who they who still wants to make you their victim over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again <clears throat> so you're learning to follow your intuition in regards to this matter <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up the um, the fire dragon. I mean the dragon cards. I'm gonna shuffle this card. So first are good. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what the dragon has to say. Let's see what the dragon has to say. Is this a shortcut? No, I don't know. It will be nice if it's a shortcut. Then I don't have to shuffle so much. something just a minute I want to see Capricorn oh oh Capricorn last month was out of the chrysalis reborn with eyes bright with new hope oh and now we are still talking about hope oh now I remember now I remember um Oh, now I remember a little bit of the feeling. <clears throat> oh, wow, that's nice. Mm, I think it's like really, really, really healing your heart chakra. <clears throat> because you know you don't have to lay expectations or hopes. What, where people were begging you to have hope for them, to have faith in them, to give them the benefit of a doubt, and to trust and believe them. You pull on all of that away, and then you place the trust in yourself. You place the hope in yourself. You place all of your humanity, all of the light that the person is asking you to give them. You put it into your own soul. And then you walk away with your hopes, dreams, and light while they have no power to relinquish, dissolve it, or attack it because you see them for who they are, that they are the devil mask, that they are pretending to be someone who cares for you, loves you, but they don't have that intention. They only have the evil intention and the evil heart. And you've learned to be adamant, to be fiercely aggressive in choosing to see who they truly are rather than the facet or the fragment of um, the um, the lies and delusion that they try to trick you into believing them and that they're begging you to to have hope for them they're begging you to give them forgiveness they're begging you to to extend a projection of your goodness towards them but you already see that it's not true that they are not like you they are not with your same values they don't have your same moral honor code <clears throat> they're just not as kind as you are <sighs> I think so. Mm. Water dragon helps you float easily around 
easily round obstacles. Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities to go with the flow. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. Water dragon. So this might 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 resonate with this ace of cups. This water dragon and water element from the ace of cups here where it's easier for you to move around the world already knowing how to trust your own intuition and your heart knowing when you can retract your hopes and benefit of a doubt and trust from people when you've been hurt and harmed and betrayed and you no longer have to place any false expectation to lay any trust onto people who begs for your mercy, begs for your forgiveness, begs for you to trust that they will change because they don't change and you're learning to walk away and taking all of your light away from them because you have the key to your abundance and the abundance is also feeling good the abundance of feeling good and feeling peace you got an animal card, sunshine yellow dragon yeah. <clears throat> Helps you to help animals, serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. <coughs> so, um, what is this about? Is this literally about animals, or is it about your weak, your your broken selves? Maybe, uh, maybe when you're beaten down by this devil who pretended to be your best friend, lover, business partner, trustworthy individual, you're broken, right? Um, so maybe maybe a side of you that is um, that is affected tremendously by the harm of the devil. Like imagine a very volatile goat or a very very volatile beast attacked a poor deer like Bambi it's like Bambi hey and and then the Bambi is really hurt and feels like it's very hard to trust people again and um, so you're learning to protect um, learning to protect your innocence, knowing when people are aiming to take advantage of your innocence. And I think this is a very important message because a lot of kind people have this innocence about them that is easily manipulated. And <clears throat> if you kind of like see from the, from the eye of the individual who, um, is pretending to be your best friend, your lover, your your trustworthy partner, but they're actually the devil masked as a lover, and they're hurting you. They know that they're intentionally hurting you, but they're pulling on the strings of your innocence and trying to paint themselves as innocent. And you know, you're adamant in seeing the true nature of who they truly are, and you're no longer <coughs> wanting to give this generosity to them. You're withholding this generosity. You're withholding your emotional abundance, financial abundance, abundance in general, the expensive feelings of free-spirited, innocence, childlike qualities of happiness and joy and all the positive energy that comes along with who you are you're withholding it only 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 giving it to the people you understand their true nature and if you see their true nature as a devil you're like no i'm not, not gonna give it to you <clears throat> i know this kind of like have many meanings <clears throat> but i'm giving you from the meaning of my intuition Brings a leap of joy that opens your doors. 
I can't stick it to her. Uh, I've tried to discover wisdom, accept miracles, accept opportunities. I feel like I cannot move my throat anymore. <coughs> oh, I had big plans for this month. And I lost 10 days being sick. Um, what's this? Next card. What is my next card? Okay, I got it. Okay, so literally, you're only sharing your emotional abundance with the people you trust and not the people who are pretending to be your, your compadre, your friend. No more. I'm gonna do this one or this one first. Do you guys remember which one I did first? This one and this one first. This one. Which one did I use first? I don't remember, so I'm just going to pick this one. I'm calling asleep now. I didn't even take the medicine yet. <coughs> Go away. <sighs> Hmm. It's like denying people a taste of your hope, denying these false friends a taste of your positive energy and hope is that you know when you're withdrawing a deposit of trust you're withdrawing yourself from these people who wants you so you're withdrawing your trust from them and your hopes from them your love from them your kindness from them your positive energy from them and you're just aggressively adamant and putting this strong boundary and like you know what I trusted you, I shared with you, I've shown you what you want from me, but you're not respecting me, and you hurt me, and you're pulling on the strings of my innocence to serve you, but I know you're the devil, I know you are the devil, I know you're pretending to be kind. I know you're pretending to be innocent, but you're just leeching off of my aura. And you're learning to see that these people are just going to test their luck with anybody who they can trick. In life like that, there's going to be other people who's as like this, as, as maybe they are idiotic, or maybe they think that they're clever. But life's going to have people like this. And it's okay, these people exist. It's not about a sense of control, it's about how graceful can you leave them? And how graceful can you respond to when they try to keep pulling you down to their level? Gratitude is the card. <clears throat> Acceptance. It was actually reversed, but... And then wisdom. I feel like it's kind of like this wisdom that you built that helps you to see that people who target your innocence and try to paint themselves as innocent. And the thing is that long time ago, maybe one and a half months ago, I was going to make a video about there were people, like a lot of guilty people love to associate themselves to me and then they try to always make me look guilty and that's because they're trying to like um, pass their shame and guilt towards me um, that was this woman that I knew she is guilty in all fronts of being a scam artist and she slowly kind of like 
have to be honest with me and found out that she herself has very immoral standards in life and she's done a lot of illegal things and she's trying to blame me for making decisions has nothing to do with me so there were very some like dubious characters that I've worked with that I've known in person and <coughs> Capricorns I think some of you have this kind of like moral principles that you take for granted that people want to associate to you for that strength of character and you have to start recognizing when people are associating to you for your strength in character when they don't have it and they want to associate it to make it seem like they have your strength of character they want your strength of character of moral principles when they are like the most um, the most promiscuous person the most um, um, what is opposite of infidelity no what is the opposite of fidelity which is infidelity right so they're the most like they're like um, disloyal partners like they're disloyal people they don't if they're married then they'll be sleeping around and then they will be very promiscuous if they have a best friend they will talk about their best friends to other people and try to like smear their best friend's name and then try to make their best friend feel targeted by the people that did. So they, they, they play this devil's advocate to push people away from each other so that they can regain control of the social, social standing in that group, among other things, that they try to, they try to evoke fear, hate, despicableness against people towards people and they break people apart rather than bringing people together they kind of like create spite against people who would have been really good for each other they would break long-term friendships they would break long-term marriages and they're they're just this devil's advocate purely devil's advocate this is a card that just popped out happy happy so, what I sense as a message for you Capricorns for this month, I see that um, you're learning to remove false hope. How people expect you to give your hopes to them, like to trust them, to believe in them, that they can be of help to you, that they can support you, that they can... Um, fulfill your dreams or wishes because that's exactly what they try to do to you they try to um, make you but make you place your heart in their hands and then they crush it because they're the devil's advocate I'm just gonna like snort <coughs> excuse me guys A bit more. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass her out. <clears throat> it's okay, 10 more minutes of this and I'm, I'm done. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass her out. <coughs> <coughs> I hope that's not too disgusting to hear. Today's Thursday, Friday. Oh shit. Okay, I'm just thinking about my session on Friday. <clears throat> um, TikTok. What is this about? 
and co-create. I don't know if this, I'm just going to shuffle again because it don't make sense to me. Because I wasn't tuning in. What did I say last before I kind of like sneeze and had to and like cough it out? <coughs> 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 So a big important message is, is like withdrawing your hopes and trust from the people who betrayed you. And seeing them for the devil they are. And then releasing your hopes so that you can have new hopes for new people and new things and new experience. Imagine. And never ending story. Oh fuck. Uh, I think like um, um, uh, something that I remember reading from this never ending story is something that recently happened to me like I was sick and my mind was like running amok because usually I would be very productive with my mind but since I wasn't productive at all for the past 10 days it's been like re recycling all negative stories <clears throat> so I think is that you need to create a new storyline to think and be obsessed about. Um, like you don't think about the never-ending story with the problems you face with toxic people. But imagine how you want your new friendships to turn out. How you want your new business partner, business collaborators, business clients to turn out. And how you want your new... Um, um, friends, if you're going to class, like friends in class, how are you going to turn up? Like people who want to study together, people who want to go to workshops together, or people at your um, workplace, if they love to go like um, have like this um, hobbies or activities, you can basically go with them and then they invite you and that's a positive turn up. So I think that having a like new hope. Like last month, Capricorn out of the chrysalis reborn with eyes bright with new hope. And I think this one is that you're learning to withdraw broken hopes from false friendships and false relationships so that you can place a new hope for a new friendship and relationship to the world. And you learn to follow your intuition and become very adamant and aggressively adamant in not letting people control how you see them despite how much they've hurt you they cannot keep pretending that they're saints they cannot pretending that they're this loving caretaker loving guardian or loving parents or loving friends or loving lovers when they're not so never ending story imagine it's like starting imagine a new imagine a new outcome Start <clears throat> obsessing about new friendships that makes you happy rather than friendships or partnerships that drowns you in quicksand. And you're going to have new hopes and it's like rejuvenated feelings of trust as you give your hopes and trust to new people and you're learning to know how easy it would be to just take that trust back when people hurt you and just easily and quickly move on to the next person who managed to care for your trust and care for your hopes and care for your feelings not the way that the devil have pretended to be a loving friend, kind family member or lover that hurt you and you're you're very adamant, adamantly aggressive in seeing their true faces and their true nature and you're withholding your generosity of your positive energy and you're not letting them <clears throat> um, hold the key to your feeling of abundance, feelings, feelings of Positivity, they, they don't like the toxic people in your life that make you feel like a victim in your own life. They don't, you, you don't let them do that anymore. 
because you know you recognize that you don't you them they don't hold the key to your happiness or abundance you've always had the key in your soul and one of the things that is very tricky and very hard for you to do is to recognize where you place your hope and longingness for them to change and you have to learn to withdraw that you have to learn to res make a resolution to take that hope and trust and love away from them and walk away with your grace with your love with your joy and with whatever that they want them they wanted you to project to them because they targeted your innocence they want you to see them in the eyes of light of love when they can't see themselves in that way and they're addicted to you projecting your light to them so that they can pretend to be a part of your inner circle inner light when all they have ever do is just leech onto your inner light like a parasite and you're learning that you can withdraw and remove them from leeching on your inner light and stopping them from pretending to have a say in your moral codes or values or principles or integrity because they're just pure parasite and they're just pure devil's advocate they're only pretending to be like you but they don't have the essence they never have self-control they never groom this faith they are explosive in fear and they don't have the ability to recognize sympathy, empathy, respect, a sense of a camaraderie, like, you know, togetherness. And you know that you can withdraw the hopes that they were begging. And like, you know, when <clears throat> you found out that they betrayed you and then they ask for forgiveness and then they beg you to forgive them and then they say, I'll change, I'll change, I'll change, but you, you forgive them, you let them back in, but then they hurt you even worse, worse than for, you can ever forgive. And you just had to be adamant aggressively that they are not really kind people, they're just naturally evil-hearted. And it's not your responsibility to help them, to, to help them and rescue them. And as a, as a, as a very humble self-respect, you have to let go. You cannot hold, let them hold on to you or hold on to them thinking that they will change because it's not your responsibility. Even if they're your parents, even if they're your husbands, even if they're your wives, even if they're your best friends, even if you've had histories with them. But as a, as a form of self-respect, you have to be vulnerable and proud enough and here is the thing you have to be you have to have a, a, a sense of pride to not let people lower your worth to the to the point that you have to carry their shame for them because that's a toxic projection you're not responsible for how they behave for how they think for how they carry themselves for how they guilt you that that you're responsible for their future that you're responsible for their happiness that's the most parasitic thing, the most leachable thing anyone can ever do. Is the most sucking life force, leeching, <coughs> draining, <coughs> life draining thing that you could have ever experienced. So you have to learn to withdraw your trust, hope, all of your positive energy that you've allowed to sh them to share and connect with you, you have to learn to withdraw all of those positive energy and build a very ad adamant and aggressive boundary towards them, not out of ego, but out of self-preservation and self-respect and self, um, and, and this no harm to yourself. As much as you don't want to harm others, you also have to have this desire and need not to be harmed. And in order for you to not be harmed, you have to be aggressive, adamant, and apathetic. You have to have as equal as coldness as much as you are compassionate. You need to be as cold and cruel because it's a, it's a form of self-love when other people are punching you, begging you, and piercing your soul to leech onto your and drain your life force. 
you have to be as cold and cruel and as apathetic and mirror their negative energy and don't take it in because there's no such thing as like we are all one even if the universe or some spiritual toxic belief says we are all one it doesn't mean that you should be abused so that kind of like very toxic belief of spirituality i am you you are me we are not each other we don't have the same moral codes you don't have to take other people's karma. You don't have to take other people's bullshit. You don't have to take other people's shame. You don't have to take other people's life lesson. You don't have to give them all the efforts that you've worked hard for. Don't be a pushover. Don't be a people pleaser. Don't be a chronic people pleaser. So Capricorn, you have to imagine a new outcome to place your hopes <clears throat> with new people and new experiences and new ventures a new adventure so <coughs> so <clears throat> I hope you learn to gain more wisdom in these answers that I shared learn to create a new outcome in your mind and learn to expect more from the people who've hurt you um, from others like know that when other people are showing red flags that they're like them then you know just walk away withdraw your hopes withdraw your trust from people when it's seen that they are not um, approaching you with the loving kindness that you are approaching them with or same level of respect and i believe that it can happen to you because um i had the most very fortunate experience of manifesting somebody trustworthy to to take care of my pet when i had to go and <clears throat> travel for a few days which is like ugh, three days or something a very tiring travel and i came back sick i was already exhausted and tired and then i came back sick and after that i'm like oh my god i got sick for 10 days since um we saw 10 oh yeah, it's 10 days seven days plus three days so so i hope you guys receive a very valuable wisdom in this um, universal astrology message if you would like to have a personal reading which is you can choose either having a psychic tarot reading with me and then um choosing a universal healing session that is without any cards but i help you resolve an issue you can check out the details on my website read the information there and then book a session and let me know your time <clears throat> in your country and your preferred time to work with me and I'll give you a slot of time available and then we'll either talk on Skype with a video call or we have a Zoom link. It's like a Zoom meeting thingy on the internet, on the website. And then we start with your healing journey with me. So my name is Meredith Minos. I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary. Um, thank you for being so patient with me while I cough and I sneeze and I like, you know, my nose being stuck with things. So <coughs> I hope that <coughs> I get super better soon because I have two more of this to do. <coughs> um, so thank you everybody for watching. <coughs> A lot of love and light to all of you. <coughs> For now, take care and be grateful for this lesson because this is a very tough lesson to master. So sending my love to you guys. I will see you in the next video or next month. <coughs> Much love. Goodbye. See ya.